For years, a young man protected his community. This week, violent weather took his life. Tonight, a community is saying goodbye to a father, a firefighter, and a hometown hero. News Force 4 Sanders reports. Out here, people know Lucy Smithson as just granny. Yes, everybody, half of Williamson County. My grandson had so many buddies come for Sunday dinner at Granny Lucy's house. Granny Lucy loves him <clears throat> like her own. And one of the honorary grandchildren she's most proud is Mitchell Earwood. For more than 10 years, Mitchell was a firefighter in Spring Hill, at one time even living in this station serving Bethel, where his father is district chief. He is just a great boy, he's just a hometown hero, it's Absolutely. right. While visiting a family member on Sunday, a violent wind sent a branch crashing down. Mitchell was killed. A sign at the station says, rest in peace, brother. We'll take it from here. In this time of the pandemic, guests to this funeral are being asked to stay in their cars. The crowd covers an entire field. I knew it would be a bunch of people here. I'm not well, shocked. No, I am not shocked at all. It's hard for Granny knowing Mitchell as a little girl. She was walking around last night with his helmet on. She says, I'm Mitchell, I'm Mitchell, and my daddy would be proud of me for doing this. Granny hopes Mitchell's family saw all these people and knew a lot of people care, and a lot of people will do anything to help. But it's not that he's gone to a good place. He's gonna be missed. At Franklin, I'm Forrest Sanders, News for Nashville. Memorials for Earwood can be made to the Cystic Fibrosis Foundation in honor of his twin sister.